Today we're going to talk a little bit about Web Soil Survey and what an amazing tool it is. If you don't utilize it as a county extension agent, you really need to start integrating that into your overall assessment of not only rangeland pastures, but also farmland as well. It's a really, really cool tool. It's free and you can access it anywhere. Uh, we're going to review the different apps they have available and also the desktop version available online as well. So stay tuned. I hope you start using Web Soil Survey. I guarantee you, you're going to know a lot more about your pastures. You're going to know a lot more about your cropland, about your soil systems than you ever thought possible with a totally free tool that's available at your fingertips. Hi, welcome to this week's video of range concepts we're going to be looking at web soil survey so go ahead and open up a new tab uh, i'm working in google chrome just do a google search search for web soil survey first thing that pops up we're going to get started with the green button i like the looks of this farm um, let's go ahead and use that as what we will consider as our area of interest click this um, build your own AOI or area of interest and again this is real similar to Google Earth so we're gonna just click our defining boundary like this fence line area here we'll take it all the way to the highway and go ahead and double click to close now that's going to create the AOI and so you see these blue lines here and that just basically means that you've created an area of interest. So now let's click on the soil map. So it's going to generate a soil map breakdown of that area of interest. So within our polygon area that had this um, full circle and half circle of irrigated land, we can see in Tom Green County uh, within that area of interest, a dominant portion of it is Angelo clay loam from zero to 1% slope. Now, these blue links basically means it's a link. So go ahead and click on that and it's going to give you a description of what the Angelo clay loam soil is. Um, I really like this because it can give you a farmland classification. So it gives you what the corresponding ecological site of this particular soil type is as well. Now, you can click on this for every single soil series that popped up within our defined area of interest. Um, and then you, of course, can see the different descriptions there. Now that can be pretty powerful in itself. So from this, if we wanted to, um, we could click on the printable version. Okay, I'm gonna tell it to fit it to the page click view, boom, it kicks us out a really nice pretty map of what that definable area of interest is uh, in Tom Green County north of Cristobal on some irrigated farmland. Um, and you can see the color contours of the different soil delineations. Okay, So you can download that, you can print it, you can hand it out. It includes the map legend associated with it and then also gives you a breakdown of what soils um, were uh, corresponding to that area of interest. Now for all my research demonstrations, I pull up a soil map each and every time because I want to know what I'm working with. Now this is where things start to get really cool. So now that we know what soils are in our defined area of interest, we can start to explore the soil data explore. So if I was considering building a house on this particular piece of property, on this defined area of interest, I would probably want to look at Web Soil Survey and research the rating, the overall rating, for dwellings on concrete slabs or uh, pier and beam building foundations or metal pole barns. Let's click on that one. And this will give us the rating of that area of interest for pole barns in Texas. And so you can see that each um, soil unit name has a classification based on how limited that soil type would be to support a metal pole barn. And then it gives a description of what those ratings mean. 
So not limited indicates that the soil has features that are very favorable for the specified use of metal pole barns. There's also construction materials, okay? What type of gravel source, road fill source, sand source, um, and topsoil source. Now on this particular area of interest, we have poor, poor, but then we start getting into some fairs down here as well. It'll give you a rating reason. So for example, to clay, rock fragments, high exchange capacity, vegetative productivity. This is where it gets really cool. So we always wonder how productive a certain site is. And of course, there's always um, resources you can go to like your ecological site description. But with web soil survey, it can be really cool and very fast to get an idea of what type of range production you're looking at. So it's going to pull all the features within that area of interest. Here I've got my estimated pounds per acre per year, okay, not just growing season, but per year within this defined um, polygon area with regards to soil type. You can see they've got a favorable year, so that would be above average annual rainfall. Unfavorable would be dry drought conditions. Let's go ahead and click on that just to get an idea of what the differences would be. So within a unfavorable year, that Angelo Clay, clay Loam series is dropping off by about a thousand pounds. Also what's really cool is a wildlife management section as well in regards to wildlife food plots. And so you can see their rating system. Okay, let's click on soil reports. This will be our last tab. Rangeland production and view soil report. And let's say I have a producer who was interested in rangeland productivity for a specific pasture. So I, what I would do here is after I clicked the report that I wanted and generated the report, I would add to shopping cart. We're going to go to that shopping cart. So it's building a really cool report that we can download or that we can include in a newsletter or that we can have on hand for anyone who, who wants to come by to look at the dominant soil types of a corresponding county. So it's built our area of interest into the map gives a table of contents, brief description how soil reports are made, provides the overall soil map of the different soil series types within that, a map legend, unit descriptions. Here we have our custom soil resource report. Notice each soil series that was listed within our defined area of interest, the corresponding ecological site, okay? Um, and then what the estimated forage production, dry weight production would be like in a good year, a normal year, and then a dry droughty year. Probably the biggest misconception that we deal with on web soil surveys, people think it's just it's just a thing to say, hey, what, it, what, what soil type is this? But there's so much more built into this website um, than we give it credit for. Um, and I think it can be really, really useful when we start looking at um, land management activities and the overall potential of a site uh, when we start thinking about improvements or we start thinking about rangeland uses. soil web and I'm working this on my iPhone you so you can download it from iTunes it's a free app and we're going to hit get soil data and it found that we are on a gravelly loam okay we can click that details button to give us a little bit more in-depth information such as the farmland class the dominant soils by 90% are this uh, gravelly loam. Okay, we can click on that to get a little bit better idea of what the Cho series is like. It'll give us a description. It'll give us a breakdown of the different horizons 
um, and then also typical of where you can find um, those types of soils. So for example, McCullough County, Texas, and then it breaks down the other minor soils that are also involved. So within this GPS location of where I'm standing, there's also a Valera soil type, an Angelo soil type, a Moretta soil type, and an Ebola soil type. And so this can be very beneficial if you're out in the pasture and you're wondering what type of soil that you're on. Um, and also um, what the productivity or overall site description of that soil is. So I just clicked on the bottom details. Okay, it'll give me the order of that. It'll give me the soil properties, land classification, um, and any other um, corresponding descriptions such as the ecological site. So this would be considered a very shallow site. Okay, that's the Soil Web app. Hope you enjoyed it.